Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maps primary video on reflections. In this video, we're going to look at how to reflect shapes, such as this triangle, in mirror lines. So let's reflect this triangle using this mirror line. So first of all, let's choose one uh, vertex or one point of the triangle. Let's choose this point at the top. So to get from this point to the mirror line, we go one, two, three squares across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the exact same distance across on the other side. So one, two, three, and I'm going to plot that point. And then I'm going to repeat that for the other two points, so the other two vertices of the triangle. So let's do it for this point. So to get to the mirror line, we go one square across. So let's go another square on the other side and then plot the point. And then finally, this point at the bottom, well, to get to the mirror line, it's one, two, three squares across to the mirror line. So we're going to go one, two, three across and plot the point. And there we've got our three points. We then would just get a ruler and a pencil and join them up like so. And then we've reflected the triangle in the mirror line that's been given. And that's it. So as you can see, this is the reflection of the shape we were given in the first place in that mirror line. Okay, so our next question. Our next question, we're going to reflect this shape. Now this time our mirror line is horizontal. So instead of going across, we're going to count down. Okay, so let's choose a point. Let's choose this point. It's one square down to the mirror line. So we're going to go one square down. Uh, let's choose another point. Let's choose this one. It's one point down to the mirror line. So again, we go one point down there. Let's choose another point. So let's choose the one above it. So to get to the mirror line now from this point, we would go one, two squares down. So again, we're going to go two squares down. So that's one, two squares down. Let's do it for this point here now. So it, to get to the mirror line, it's one square, two squares down. So we're going to go two squares down, one, two. So we've done four points, so uh, it's a lot of points on this, so a lot of vertices on this uh, shape. Uh, so this point here, it, to get to the mirror line, it's one, two squares down. So we go one, two to here. Again, from this point here, it's one, two down to the mirror line. So we're going to go one, two. And finally, the two points at the top here, so this point here, to get to the mirror line, it's one, two, three, four. So we're going to go four down, one, two, three, four. And our last point it, to the mirror line, it's one, two, three, four. So we go four down, one, two, three, four. And then we've got the outline of the shape. So we now just get a ruler and a pencil and we draw the shape. So across, down, across, down, across, up, across, and up. And as you can see, we've reflected that shape in the mirror line and we've got the shape below. Okay, our next question. This time we're going to reflect a shape, it's a triangle, and we're going, to get, we're going to use a diagonal mirror line, okay? Now, whenever you're using a diagonal mirror line, rather than counting squares across or down, we're going to count diagonals. So we're going to count the diagonals to the mirror line and then count the diagonals the other way and mark the points. So let's start off with this point here. To get to the mirror line, we go one diagonal, two diagonals to get to here. So we're going to go two diagonals the other way. So we're going to go one, two, so just carrying it on. So actually not the other way, the same way. So one, two. So just to repeat, we chose the point. It's one, two diagonals to the mirror line. So we go one, two. Actually, I shouldn't have marked the point there. I should just mark the points which are the, the new shape. So here. Okay, this point here. To get to the mirror line, it's one, two diagonals. So one diagonal, two diagonals. So to our point in our shape our, on our reflection will be one, two here. And the last point, this uh, vertex of the triangle here, to get to the mirror line, it's one diagonal, two diagonals, three diagonals, four diagonals. So we're going to go four diagonals. So that's one, two, three, four. And that's it. So again, we get a ruler and we join them up. So there, across, and there. So if you're asked to reflect a shape in a, with a diagonal mirror line, you just count diagonals rather than um, you know ups or crosses. Okay, okay. this time we're going to do a question where it's on a coordinate uh, grid, okay, a set of axes. So we've got the x-axis and we've got the y-axis. We've been asked to reflect this triangle in the y-axis. So that means that our mirror line is the y-axis. So I'm actually just going to do the dotted line on the y-axis. So that's our mirror line. And now we can just do the question just like before, okay? So even though it seems a bit more complicated, all we do is we look at the question, we see where the mirror line is, so it's the y-axis, we draw the mirror line on, and then we just do the reflection question just like before. So we choose the point on the shape, it's one across to the mirror line, so we go one across to here. 
this point here, one across the mirror line. So we go one across. And our last point here, to get to the mirror line, it's one, two, three, four across. So we're gonna go four across, one, two, three, four. And again, we just get a ruler and join it up and that's it. Okay, and our last example. Our last example this time asks us to reflect triangle B in the x-axis. So because it's in the x-axis, that's a mirror line. So we're gonna draw our dotted line on that. So that's where the mirror is going to be. And we're just gonna reflect it over it, okay? So we're gonna choose one point at a time. So this point to begin with, to get to the mirror line, it's one, uh, one square down. So we're gonna go another one down. Uh, this point here, it's one square down. So we go another one down. And the one at the top here, to get to the mirror line, it's one, two, three, four. So we go one, two, three, four, and that's it. So we have reflected triangle B in the x-axis.